Slob defense, modern, Alapin variation, check, Krauss attack, 6, NBD 77.NXC4. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the slob defense. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and under control thanks to nf3. nf6 develops the knight toward the center, adds support to the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. nc3 attacks the d5 square and starts to fight for the e4 square. dxc4 captures the c4 pawn and opens up the center. a4 stops the b7-b5 advance, which would have allowed black to keep the c4 pawn. bf5 develops the bishop and controls the e4 square. ne5 places the knight on an active center square where it attacks the c4 pawn and the f7 pawn. NBD7 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e5 and defends the knight on f6. NXC4 captures the c4 pawn and places the knight on an active square where it controls the e5, d6, and b6 squares. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to kick a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is the final book action. This prepares the bishop for development. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This prevents the opponent from castling, which generates tactical opportunities by keeping the king in the center. It is best. Recaptures. That is good. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop by placing it on the long diagonal. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This makes a passed pawn 
meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only move that works. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This passes up the chance of advance a passed pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. This captures a knight and eliminates a threat. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Placing a rook behind a passed pawn helps keep the pawn protected as it tries to promote. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This moves the checking rook farther away. 
That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. That's good. Placing a rook behind a passed pawn helps keep the pawn protected as it tries to promote. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This avoids the rook's check. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This avoids the rook's check. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.